What's up, y'all? This is the Venus Journey Podcast, where we discuss and analyze music and entertainment and artists. I've been gone for a while, um, and this is actually my last episode. Um, I don't expect too many of y'all to listen to this in full. It's more so for me to have it documented um, why it's ending, when it's ending. Um, it's more so for my documentation, but it's also kind of like a something to come back to for research purposes as well. And I also wanted it to be public for anybody that did want to listen to it for their own reasons. So just a little background. I started this channel mainly as an experiment. I knew that I wanted to uh, make videos on YouTube because out of all of the social media platforms, I knew that YouTube paid the best. YouTube paid the most. And so this channel was basically like um, a test run to see like, okay, what does it look like for me to, you know, like how do I basically like studying the algorithm, um, figuring out like, okay, approximately how long will it take me to get monetized if I do X, Y, and Z, um, if I try these things, if I do this, if I do that. And I made it about celebrities because in my experience, even though like the part of YouTube that I personally am on, I'm not, I don't personally consume that much about celebrities. Um, the one channel that I did watch a lot of that talks about celebrities a lot was Jesse Wu, and I really don't even watch Jesse Wu anymore um, that much. Um, but her channel was like the only one that I really watched a lot. And then when I started this channel, I started watching um, a couple of other people to kind of just study like, okay, how do they do things? How long did it take them to get get their fan base to this level or their follower count, to, their subscriber count to this amount, studying um, how their platform was growing, stuff like that. Um, but I didn't, I wanted to make this channel about celebrities because I was like, to me, that's the, the easiest way to <clears throat> gain subscribers is to talk about celebrity gossip. That's what people care about. I know that people care about other things, but it's harder to infiltrate the algorithm if you're not talking about something that's a trending topic, right? And because I also actually do love art, I'm an artist, and I love music, um, love, you know, the craft of making things and being, cre being creative. I was like, you know, I can do this in a way that is ap like appealing to people to get them to follow and cover the trending topics, but I can still do it in a way where it's like I'm talking about things I care about. And so that was why I started the channel. And I just wanted to give a little background on that um, because it's going to, it, in order to understand what I'm about to say next, you needed that um, information. So part, one part of the reason why this is my last episode is because I do not want to utilize YouTube. Like, I don't want to make money off YouTube anymore. I thought that I wanted to, but I don't really think that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I don't want to work for this platform. Um, YouTube, as some of y'all may know, is owned by Google. Google um, is just really not a very good company, even though I still have to use Google for many things. Um, 
I don't have to use a subsidiary, subsidiary, a subsidiary of Google in this way, um, just because I use Gmail and Google Meets and Google Docs and this, that, and the third, that doesn't necessarily mean that I need to go this far into it and feeding into this company even more. Um, so that's one reason. Um, I don't know for sure, but I believe Google um, is one of the companies that we're supposed to be, that is on the BDS um, list. And if it's not on the BDS list, then, oh yeah, no, it's, it's the pressure target. Google is one of the pressure targets on the, um, in the BDS movement. If you don't know what the BDS movement is, is boycott, divest, sanctions. And it gives the public um, direction as far as which companies that we don't need to support um, because of what they're doing, how they're operating, the things they're funding, um, specifically in regards to the situation in um, Palestine or Palestine. Google is one of the pressure targets, as well as Amazon, as well as Disney. And it being a pressure target means that because the company is so large, it doesn't make as much of a difference if we stop using those services because they own too many things, right? So with me making a decision to not... Um, continue with the goal of like making a channel on here and getting paid and stuff like that. It's less about like boycotting and more so about just like ideologically, this is a company that I just don't want to build a platform on. I don't want to build a platform on in here with the knowledge that I have I already, I know that the algorithm is racist. You know what I'm saying? I've been through all of that. But ever since October, um, there's just a lot of things that have heightened my, uh, what's the word? Uh, it, it's just a lot of things that have like, made me take my politics more seriously. Um, and that leads me to the next reason why I will be discontinuing this channel. And that is the biggest, like the other reason is a big reason, but like even more than that, the biggest reason why I am discontinuing this channel is because I have no interest in celebrity culture whatsoever while we are witnessing one of the, like the most documented genocide in history along with um, genocides actively happening in the Congo and in Sudan and in various places on the continent that are not documented as well, but that are just as important and that we have been learning about um, in relation to what's going on in Palestine. It is absolutely sickening to me to watch these celebrities um, post and just live their lives as if nothing is going on. I have no interest in supporting people 
who will not or cannot make it known where they stand when it comes to genocide. I don't care if I enjoy the music. I don't care if the person is talented. Um, and it's really not about, for me, it's not about like yelling at these people and being like, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Um, even though I think that when people do that, it's justified to a certain degree. Um, you know, bullying works sometimes. But me personally, instead of taking that energy and feeding it even more into these people in order to criticize them, I have made the decision that for me, the best use of my energy is to divest. That means I'm not paying attention. I'm not giving you my attention. I'm not giving you my money. I'm not giving you my streams. I'm not giving you my views, my likes. I'm not talking about you. I am starving you of my energy. Simple as that. Um, and I'm not doing that in order to be like, yeah. And you know how those you how people will be like, like somebody will be following you and you say something they don't like and they're like, I'm unfollowing you. And like, I don't care. I'm not doing it because I expect them to care that I'm not giving them the energy. That's why I'm not announcing it. That's why I'm not on here saying this person, this person, this person, person didn't say nothing. And this is why I don't fuck with them anymore and blah, blah, blah. It's not about that for me. It's about making sure that it's about sharpening my own politic. Instead of pointing fingers, even though it's extremely disgusting to me to watch people like not say anything. Um, I just, I don't really see the point in doing that. I don't feel like that's more important than, like I said, being more serious about where I put my time and my attention. Um, the attention economy is a real thing. Celebrities are only celebrities because we make them celebrities, because we talk about them, because we, you know what I'm saying, like not just buy their stuff, but because we make everything about them. And celebrity culture really needs to die. It needs to be abolished, if we're being completely honest. Um, and if not only does celebrity culture need to die, but like the entertainment industry, just like every other industry in America, is absolutely disgusting and exploitative. That's why you saw all of those actors and writer and writers striking for as long as they were. Um, because artists in this industry get treated like absolute shit. Taraji has been using the press tour for the color purple to basically say that this $100 million budget movie, that's a studio movie, that's executive produced by all of these extremely wealthy people, was ghetto, basically. She was treated like shit. And that's not, is, she shouldn't have been, you know, I, I think artists deserve better. At the same time, it's like, to me, it's no, I, I don't really feel like, to me, the story isn't about how bad she had it or how bad she was treated or how much better things should have been um, for her, even though I believe they should have been. To me, if these conversations don't immediately become about, yeah, and this is why working class people who are suffering even more in like being exploited, not getting um, fair pay, not having working conditions that are acceptable, et cetera, et cetera. If it doesn't become about working class people, I don't really want to hear about it. Um. 
So the industry altogether, it needs to crumble. I just tweeted this, I was just like, I'm at the point where it's just like, I would literally rather take, I would literally rather us take our movie ticket money and just crowdsource more ethically, more ethical entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, I would like to see, and things like that, when we're talking about like huge changes and huge institutions and systems being dismantled so that new things can be built and and reconstructed, that means that everybody is going to have to be somewhat uncomfortable and go without certain things and certain amenities, um, which Americans are very selfish and very self-centered. So that's why that hasn't been happening, you know, However, it's possible. And so when I say, like, I would rather us crowdsource more ethical entertainment, what I personally mean by that, like, my vision of entertainment, instead of, like, going to the movies and paying $20 to sit in a movie theater and so that I can contribute to the box office numbers for this studio that is treating writers and actors like shit <laughs> I would rather take that $20 and it go into a fund for local actors or it go into a fund for like whatever you know independent film is that is being made that I'm interested in seeing like I would rather entertainment look like that than what it is now I'm sorry, I don't want to sit up and watch ultra-rich people do mediocre stuff and then talk about it on social media. Like, I, I don't want to do that. And even the people that are doing good work, it's like, it's hard to even enjoy it because it's like, bro, You're parading around with war criminals in your spare time. You're at the White House. Our tax dollars are literally funding a genocide. And not only are you not talking about it, but you're, st you're taking pictures and cheesing with the war criminals that you voted for. So... It's just like, I'm just very disillusioned with basically everything right now, but especially like, I don't wanna, like, I'm not finna sit here and talk about the, the, the trending topics, the celebrity trending topics, because I just don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. There's too many more important things going on and I'm sorry but all of this all of this celebrity drama all of this it's a distraction even the artists that I really love whose music whose art whose everything that I really love they if they are a part of this machine they are a distraction and that's why this channel is ending I'm no longer going to contribute to the distraction. I thought I could get on here and talk about art and celebrities in a meaningful way, and maybe I did to some degree, but it's still a distraction because it can only be but so meaningful when I'm watching so many people die. You know what I mean? And that's just where I'm at. I don't want to give any more attention. I don't I don't want to give any more sacrifice, any more of my time and energy at the altar of celebrity. I will not do that. And I'm not going to help y'all do it. Um, the trending topics don't need my opinion. The work that what I actually do, I have... Um, 
a project called Creative Spirit Work. So I'm still in the realm of creativity and art, but for regular working class people um, and focusing that on liberation centered world building. I don't need to center celebrities in order to create conversations and spaces that elevate and nourish creativity. So that's all. Like I said, I highly doubt anybody listens to this. This was more for me than anything else. But if you have a comment, go ahead and leave it. As always, be respectful. Um, If you don't, I mean, I'm probably just going to delete the comment. I have no real reason to keep it up if it's disrespectful. Um, And since this channel is being discontinued, like, I don't care about having your, your, I don't have, I don't care about having rude comments to boost the video to the algorithm or anything like that. So yeah, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Peace.